and sky watchers are eagerly awaiting the spectacular phenomenon. Many even planning viewing parties or traveling great distances to enjoy the event, including us. But in the midst of all the excitement, it is important to keep safety in mind. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us how to stay safe in this. Good morning, Dr. Kumar. We don't like to talk about these kinds of things, but you do have to be careful. Absolutely. So what are your first uh, concerns and the biggest health concerns for people um, in the path of totality or even folks here where we're going to see almost totality? Yeah, and I think that's, you know, that's key. We are not going to experience totality in this area. So I want to emphasize there is no point in time that you can look at the eclipse with the naked eye because we are only going to see a partial eclipse. Now, by far, the biggest concern is something called solar retinopathy. That is damaged that can occur to the eyes it can happen within seconds from looking at the eclipse with the naked eyes um, you know your retina does not have pain sensors so you don't even know that it's happening you can experience blurred vision distorted vision uh, even blind spots and again like I said this can be permanent young people are at higher risk because of the anatomy of their lenses and because you know they're more into like risk-taking behavior so young people please be very careful. Addition, you are, additionally, you are out in the sun, so sun protection um, is key. And be careful for distracted drivers. Try to stay off the roads during this period of time. What about um, the eclipse glasses? I mean, do they work? Are they good enough? Yeah, you know, they work, but what's important is that you are getting the proper glasses. These eclipse glasses, you want to look for a label that says ISO 12312-2. ISO 12312-2. Now those are the standard glasses. Before the 2017 eclipse, there was a flood of counterfeit glasses. So you want to make sure you are wearing the proper glasses. Um, additionally, you can't film the eclipse through camera lenses, binoculars, telescopes. You can not only will you destroy your equipment, but again, that can cause damage to the eye. So it's important to make sure that the equipment that you have is the standard equipment. Yeah, Lonnie was saying that. Just put all that aside and just it enjoy aside. it. Yeah, let the professionals take the photos. What are other things people should do to stay safe today? Well, staying safe today, first off, um, you know, again make sure you are not viewing this eclipse with the naked eye wear the standard glasses there are also indirect ways of viewing the eclipse with pinhole projection boxes and you can you know the nasa website has excellent information as to how to make these indirect viewing um, boxes uh, stay off the roads during this period of time so plan your commute or plan picking up your children maybe a little earlier or even later from school today keep your pets safe keep your pets inside you know they can have damage to their eyes as well and you know enjoy it or watch it on TV Christine is gonna yeah, be I know we'll be on we, all we can day. see totality <laughs> through Christine That's today true true good to see you thank you so much Dr. Yeah. Mar. and no matter where you get your news we've got special coverage of the eclipse across our CBS news platforms today a uh, special report total eclipse of the heartland will air on CBS 2 starting at 2 p.m. and right here streaming on CBS News New York you can catch our special Empire State Eclipse we'll have a team of reporters across the state from Niagara Falls Lake Placid and right here in the city that also starts at 2 p.m.